single men image headship by protecting women as sisters, serving women as sisters. And then here's a second one we'll need to talk about just briefly. Single men image headship with borrowed authority by seriously pursuing godly women to marry unless one has the call or the gift of singleness. So if you're a single man in any of our campuses and you're like, I've got the call of singleness. Don't think God wants me to get married. I'm gonna use all the time that I have to serve the Lord and to push back darkness in the world. Praise God. But if you don't have that gift, and I have not met but maybe one brother in 30 years of ministry, they would say, I've got the gift of singleness. So if you do not have the gift of singleness, then you image headship by seriously pursuing godly women in a friendship relationship in the hopes that that friendship will lead to marriage in which you might partner with this woman in gospel ministry and for raising children that love and worship Christ. And to not do that is to be outside the bounds of what God has called you to in purpose and design around manhood. Headship is worked out in the home primarily, not in the apartment with a group of dudes, but in a home with a wife. And what's happened is our culture has discipled our young single men in an over-sexualized, over-romanticized way that has led to all sorts of destruction in the marital relationship, all sorts of destruction in the family unit because we have not seen what I'm looking for is a dear friend who I might partner with for the glory of Christ because that kind of marriage holds together. Can we talk about physical attraction just for a second, briefly? Gravity wins. I'm out. <laughs> Gravity wins. Nobody's figured out how to beat gravity. And they're like, well, there's procedures. Only a couple of times until bad things start happening there, right? Like, you, you might go, I can fix it for a little. Eventually, you, you're drooling on yourself and you're not sexy, all right? You're, it's scary, it's frightening. Like, what is that? Gravity wins. No one beats gravity. And so if you're pushing all your chips onto physical attraction, you will be disappointed. Do you know your nose and ears never stop growing? So not only does gravity win, but give it enough time and you are some circus freak looking dumbo, wrinkly, droopy mess. And on that day, gospel partnership rooted in deep friendship is awesome. 